Hello and welcome. Today I would like to show you the multi-fiber tool. This is an in-house design from our Solid Optics team. It's got an XFP and an SFP Plus uh, bus on one hand. On the other hand it's got a USB port. Uh, this can be connected to uh, an uh, Android phone which I have here or to your Mac, Linux or uh, web, uh, Windows PC. With this you can do multiple functions, you can do four functions and I will show two of them, uh, that is uh, the recoding and uh, retuning. Um, I've got the uh, Solid Optics app from the Play Store, I, will, I can change the brands easily here. You can see I've got a setup here which isn't working because this optic on this side is coded for Juniper. What I'll do now is plug the SFP into the multi-fiber tool. I'm going to rebrand. It will read out the optic that I have. I will get a whole list of optics where I can code it to. I will select Cisco as you can see here. I'll click on change brand. It will rewrite the uh, memory spaces in this optic right now. There are multiple memory spaces it can write. We have a whole list of 40 different brands where you can recode it to. And this will only work for a solid optics optics. And it's almost ready. I will plug it back into the ASR920. It will verify that the coding is correct. I will put it back here, put the cable back and it will create a link. You can see a green link coming up here. I'll show another feature of the Solid Optics multi-fiber tool. The other feature is for an SFP Plus tunable. I can plug the SFP Plus tunable in here. I'll first plug it into the optic here and show you the color it has right now. For this I will use the Solid Optics DWM power meter. The DWM power meter is showing that it has channel 19 right now, as you can see. I can just easily get it out. I will go back, show you this with the multi-fiber tool. I can go to tune. It will read out the value it has right now which should be 19 as you can see and I can easily select from this list here put it on channel 60 for example I'll click on tune this will tune the optic and also change the naming of the optic so it will have a double functionality so in the naming you can see the correct channel as well a lot of uh, switches cannot rewrite tunable optics and you need a device like this to tune the optic to the correct wavelength it's almost ready and I'll put it back into the machine and with the power meter once it's booted up you will see the correct channel as you can see 58 or uh, channel 60 what I've chosen okay thank you very much for watching